Piotrek, Jarek, Vasia and this is Excel of Agile Practitioners. Today we will talk about budgeting, budgeting in Agile projects. We want to cover that in, in, in this episode, uh, this, this very big myth uh, about Agile and budgets. Very often uh, there, is, there is this myth that uh, Agile means Agile budgets. Well, to some extent it's true. Uh, but it's not that uh, budget is not uh, managed, it's not covered. You can uh, um, have estimations and you can expect how much money it would take to, uh, to deliver the first version of your product or next releases. So, so budgeting. budgeting. Budgets in Agile. Um, I don't like budgets. Do you like budgets? I like budgets. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he is, uh, so as you see, he is, he is very weird. Was, was he will tell you about the budgeting. Yes. And of course we will start with the process because this guy loves process. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> so process. Jarosław, Jarosław, tell us about the process. Yeah, so first we have very rough estimations. If uh, you as a customer uh, decide to continue, uh, then uh, we meet with all the team that is being to, that, that's going to be involved in the product development. We organize product workshops, that's the next step. Uh, the product workshops are to discover the whole product. Uh, then we plan the first release. And after we have this, we can just start uh, delivering sprints and uh, and to deliver the product. And yeah, and in this estimations and product workshop uh, it, we don't have involved only like uh, team leaders, project managers, whatever, yeah. but the whole teams. Yes, the whole team is involved. And the very important part is that actually uh, each and every from developer and quality assurance, graphic designer, everyone is in the same room and uh, they have to all together say how much it will take. There's no uh, project manager saying it should be like this, but the whole team has to, has to come with a consensus. If I want to see a episode about the budgeting, why this guy is telling me about the process? What the hell? So there is a, there is a budget uh, and there is a process. How, how, how it connects to, to itself. Yeah. Where is this budget in our process? Yeah. It's reasonable that you might have a question uh, when actually you get the product, right? Uh, so basically you get the product, product after every sprint, but then comes the question, okay, so when do I get the MVP or some set of functionalities I wanted at the very beginning? Okay, and the answer is, uh, comes after the, the, the product workshop or the very, uh, very, uh, the, the, the estimations at the very beginning. Um, you have some overview and some estimated number of sprints that it would take to deliver that MVP or that set of functionalities you wanted at the very beginning. Uh, but what Agile gives you is the ability to change the course after every sprint and to stop the development after every sprint uh, or to change the product after every sprint based on, on, the, uh, on the feedback from the users, from the market. The most common question is uh Actually, um, who is managing the budgets? Yeah, yeah in a job. In a job. Actually, uh, this is a tricky question because uh, there's no one person who manages that. It's uh, uh, separated across uh, different uh, areas. Yeah, but somebody would say if a lot of people is managing, then nobody is managing. Yeah, but if you if you have um, a very uh, distinctive uh, areas, then then you actually know who manages what. Let's see at, at the roles we have in the development process. Right, we have a client, customer, or a product owner. Yeah. It's the same for us. Mm -hmm. um, development team and Scrum master. Yeah, development team and Scrum master are uh, persons uh, in house. Yeah, and the customers yeah. is. In our company, that they work very closely. Uh, they're the same team as we as we see them. Right? Yes. Yeah, so first of all, development team and Scrum master are responsible for uh, estimating product backlog items, uh, for uh, actually finding best solutions to best match uh, expectations regarding uh, the budget, um, the time of development, the quality, and the functionality themselves. Um, and this so is they are responsible for uh, for the efficiency. Yes. Yes. 
for finding the best solutions, mm -hmm. the best uh, uh, match efficiency, efficiency quality mm -hmm. and expectations regarding the budget. And um, development team is also responsible for uh, continuously uh, estimate the product backlog as product owner defines the backlog. So this is a very important thing uh, that actually product owner always know what is the budget, right? Yes. yes. It is product owner's responsibility to define the product uh, backlog, not the technical details, but the functional expectations or uh, users' needs. And given the, the product backlog is um, described as uh, user stories, is prioritized, uh, it is very easy to um, calculate what the budget is for a release. So if product owner defines the scope of the release, then development teams estimate finding the best possible solutions to best match the budget expectations and quality. Okay, but uh, my, my question is, so what, what Scrum Master does in, in this whole setup, right? Because if, if the team can actually work efficiently by themselves, mm -hmm. so where do, why, why do we need Scrum Master? Scrum Master uh, also ensures transparency. Mm -hmm. He uh, ensures that the product owner uh, has all the data that he, need, that he needs to make his uh, business, let's say, decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, product owner, um, as a client, uh, receives all the time uh, up-to-date information about the budget, meaning um, how much time we already spent on product development how much time we still need given the expectations and estimations provided by the product owner and the team. So client has something like dashboard which is always updated all the time, provides accurate information about the current state of the development of the budget and thus can make very easy decisions regarding the budget, the scope, the functionality. Me as a as a, as a product owner, I can actually have a, have the dashboard, like you said, uh, with a, a high overview of what's going on. Uh, I have a team who is responsible for for the performance. A Scrum Master who 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 ensures me that everything is up to date and there are no problems with with the team. Yeah. So my role as a, as a product owner in this case um, is like what? It's just making those backlog decisions. So this is my part of the budgeting. What comes first and how, I don't know, how big the functionality is needed at a certain moment. The most important thing that we would like to share with you is that it is different than in regular uh, waterfall um, product building because budgeting is based on cooperation and therefore it's distributed across different roles, different people. So. Uh, in the first moment, you can actually think that uh, nobody manages the budget. Uh, no product manager. <laughs> exactly. But the truth is, uh, it is separated, once again, it is separated across different roles. And uh, these roles have uh, um, very strict accountabilities. Uh, and and thus they have this focus, right? Only on their, yes. their area. That's yes. It, why so it might, may work better. That's why it works in our company. Yes, exactly. So, so you have this focus that's very important, but, but also we can collaborate, right? So we can change. And uh, what's also um, important to mention is that uh, having uh, that responsibility spread across different roles in the project, that involves um, many parties in, in the process and gives much better um, predictability than in any uh, top-down controlled environment or in uh, waterfall projects. Thank you for being with us. Yeah, thank you for today. Thank you. Uh, leave us a comment, what do you want to hear next time? And yeah. see you next week. <laughs> bye bye! bye. <laughs>